Aquarius, this Empress Shay Shay. If I'm talking low, y'all know I'm at work. So come on, come on, come on, wherever you are. This is my Aquarius reading, okay? Um, I love you guys. Thank you for everything that you do. Like, share, and subscribe, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, um, your reading is going to be about career and love, Aquarius, okay? The first card that I got out is Page of Cups, okay? It may be a birth announcement. It may be an idea you have. It may be a message of good news. And Aquarius, it could be more than one Aquarius I'm speaking to, okay? So it could be a birth announcement for one of my Aquarius. If it is, congratulations, okay? But you have a person that's coming towards you that is going to give you an offer, okay? It's a person that normally gives you very, very good advice, okay? okay? And it's going to be quite an offer because this person um, is very youthful in spirit, okay? It may necessary. it could be a younger person, but it could be an older person. But if it's an older person, they're very youthful in spirit, okay? Um, I wouldn't say immature, but they just have a youthful spirit. And the person that's coming towards you also, um, they have a bit of shyness about them, <laughs> about their character, okay? But they possess a very kind heart. This is what I'm feeling. Okay. But they're very loyal also. And they're always giving you good advice. Okay. The next card out is the King of Pentacles. Okay. This person is very um, confident, reliable. And you would have success with this person because this person is going to collaborate with you and you, both you guys are going to be very wealthy. Okay. The King of Pentacles, um, it really embodies a dependable, mature person, male or female. That's what I told you in, in earlier about the page. And um, that I was feeling there was a older gentlemen, but they in, it's very mature, okay? And you would have great success with this person, okay? But you have to focus on your material gain. You have, you're being advised by the universe. You have to focus on your material gain when this person comes into your life. This person will serve you okay with a lot of different ideas but you still have to remain focused on your material game don't lose focus with that um, this person's very intelligent so are you okay if it's a job you're gonna have a promotion or you it's gonna be a financial windfall may it be a job or relationship okay the next card out is the five of Pentacles okay and the Five of Pentacles is kind of different, okay? You experienced a lot of mental, emotional, or material loss. But what I'm hearing, if you don't keep your eyes on the prize, you will experience some poverty, okay? Um, you have a lot of worry. You know, Aquarius, we worry a lot. Um, we overthink and stuff, okay? What I'm hearing if you don't put your priorities in perspective with your relationship, your finances, with your job, some of my queries may be even losing a job. If you are, I'm sorry to hear that, but it's not the end of the world. Um, you will experience the poverty. So you have to really weigh your options here, okay? because you don't want to experience material loss. This is just a warning to let you know that you have to stay focused or these things will come to fruition. They will come, okay? So any negative influences that you have in your life, you need to get rid of them. And it's, it can refer to relationship, employment, financial matters, anything, okay? 
The next card out is the Three of Wands. Okay? You will be successful again in your partnership or on your job. It's going to be long-term success. Okay? But you cannot be frivolous in whatever you going towards. Again, a job or love. The Three of Wands is going to bring you some good news. Everything you have worked on, you're going to have your, you're going to have great accomplishments behind it. It's, it's a lot of potential behind whatever you've been working. Maybe relationship or career. And this would be the most successful partnership that you've ever had. But you have to find a better solution as to how you work. Okay? Like little small practical matters, it requires your attention. So pay attention, okay, Aquarius? Bottom line, keep your eyes on the prize, on your career, your job, or your relationship. Okay? Try to balance all that. But also have an open mind to new possibilities, okay? And this is what I'm hearing this person's bringing towards you, okay? The Four of Swords, okay? I gotta stop saying okay, guys. <laughs> the Four of Swords, you could be in recovery from an illness. I pray that that's not it. Um, you had some delays and you had to heal. You and this person had to heal. Um, the universe stepped in with this situation is what I'm hearing because you needed rest, rejuvenation you needed time to think to become balanced, to get yourself together because you had a lot of um, you had a lot of things going on in your life at this time a lot of turmoil and you had to get your stability in order okay so that is why <clears throat> it was delays in your career or relationship. And it's going to come a time where you're going to have to make a critical decision. So if you have someone in your life that's not supposed to be there, that's not serving you, you need to go ahead and handle that because if not, prepare for a disaster. Just letting you know. Nine of Swords. Okay, the Nine of Swords is saying you experiencing some paranormal some paranormal some paranoia like you're paranoid for some reason again you're overthinker you're making yourself have mental anguish okay you don't want to do that because when you do that and you overthink you can have an accident at work you can have an accident in your car you can you know you don't want to do that because you're having lack of sleep because you're overthinking about all this stuff And for some, okay, this is what it is. You're feeling hopeless about a situation because you feel like you're not good enough. And I hope people are not feeling that way, either you or your person. They feel like um, they need to be a certain way to be with you or you with them. But no one is perfect, okay? They feel like they can't live up to your standards or you up to their standards. So that causes them pain at night. Neither one of you guys should be thinking like that. Because. Just don't think like that guys. Don't ever think that you're not good enough for someone. Or someone is not good enough for you. I'm not feeling that energy. I feel like you guys are overthinking. Or your person is overthinking on that. Okay. So cut yourself some slack. In that area. This is what the universe is telling you. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles, again, is you're going to have a lot of prosperity, abundance. You're going to have financial security you've never seen before because you're so independent. But you're so independent to where you want, you, you or your person wants everybody approval. Okay, guys, I wasn't saying the signs. We have um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Virgo. We have Aries. And we have Taurus here. And, of course, we have Libra energy in Aquarius. But you ex you want everybody's approval, either you or your person. Stop doing that. Only you and the Holy Spirit approval is all it needs, okay? 
always stay on a positive note with your companionships or with people around you. Yes, you have may experienced some hardships in the past, but now you're standing stable on your own feet and you're going to have financial reward behind that. The magician, okay? The magician is that, again, you seek approval for whatever ideals or whatever job you have or for whatever relationship you have. You're seeking approval for others. You don't need to do that. You need to seek approval from your higher self, okay? Go to your higher self. Stop seeking approval from other people. Be confident about your skills and be proficient. And it's important to have good communication skills. Be a great communicator because you're very intelligent and you're a very good communicator. So do that. Stand in your power. And quit seeking knowledge from people that's close to you. That's low vibrational thinking. The Ten of Cups. Okay, the Ten of Cups. You're going to have permanent stability in your life for the first time. You're not going to have to worry about if you spend money, if you go to the um, store, how much you have to spend. But you're going to always have to budget yourself. But what I'm saying is that you're not going to be a worry ward like you've been doing. That's why you stay up at night because you worry, worry, worry. And you're not going to be like that. You're going to have a lot of abundance from whatever project you're on. You're going to have a lot of achievement. A commitment is coming your way and you guys will have a happy family. This is what the universe is telling me. And that would be in your financial, you have permanent stability with your finances and in your emotional life. This person is going to fulfill you emotionally. And that's what you're missing on. You never had anybody that really fulfilled you emotionally. Okay? And the last card is the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay? And what the universe is telling me, what the Holy Spirit is telling me, that the Knight of Cups is embodying the King of Pentacles. Okay? The King of Pentacles did not show you emotions in the past. So now the King of, King of Pentacles is embodying the, the Knight of Cups, they one person. But he's going to show you emotions now. Okay? And you're going to have success. It's going to be a beautiful human connection. I don't know why the Holy Spirit is telling me a human connection. <laughs> and you guys are both going to have peace in your union now. Because neither one of you had peace in your relationships or your jobs or whatever. Just in life in general. And he's coming to you with an invitation, okay? He's going to offer you on a date. See how that card look? He's going to offer you on a date, okay? A proposal of some sort. Maybe he want to marry you, but that's what I'm hearing. An invitation, a proposal. But it's going to be a new opportunity for a new start for both you guys, you and your person. But it also can mimic a warning to maintain your focus. Aquarius, your entire reading was saying you need to maintain focus, okay? So remember that because if you go off kilter, all of this could be lost. So you have to remain focused on your achievements, on your thoughts, on your priorities. Keep your priorities in perspective. Don't fall off or don't, or don't feel like, oh, it's not coming fast enough for me. Be very patient because all of this is in your future if it's not already happening now, okay? Okay, guys, um, if you hear some in my background, it's because I'm at work, but um, this has been your reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I love you guys, and um, if you want to donate, you know how to do that. Go in my About section and look at the payment method or whatever you want to buy or get a reading. I love you guys. You have a great day. And this is Aquarius. Come out, come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs>